The open term gateway is a box that is able to forward messages between your thermostat and your boiler. It is capable of changing your thermostat set point, send the outside temperature to your thermostat, read an outside temperature, and control the domestic hot water option for your boiler. If you want to understand how you can configure this within the Modex, then please watch this video. These are the prerequisites for the open term gateway. You would need the open term gateway itself, which comes as a package uh, which you need to solder. If you're not able to solder, then most shops have a solder service for just a few euros who put the parts together. If your Raspberry Pi is not near your boiler, then you would need the Node MCU unit, which clicks on the open term gateway and which sets the wireless connection between your Raspberry Pi and the open term gateway. And for powering the open term gateway, you need a 24 volt adapter. A uh, total of these three components is about 80 euros. So it's, it's not too expensive. We're going to connect to the wireless network ESP underscore zero with password config ESP lowercase to configure the node MCU. Get a menu where you select your SSID and where you put in your password. Uh, it is possible that this particular menu disappears quite quickly. I've experienced it several times with different modules. Um, it's purely the installation process for your wireless. After you've put in your, your wireless details, it is uh, a stable connection. It just seems to be the uh, installation menu. Now you need to look on your router or through an IP scanner what kind of IP address the Node MCU has received and fill it in into your browser. And then you will see that you will get the main page from the Node MCU. We can see the uptime of the device, in this case, two minutes. Uh, Wi-Fi RSSI means the, um, the signal strength of your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, be sure that it's not above minus 80 because then it means you have a poor uh, connection. Uh, my IP address you can see and important the build number of your Node MCU. Recommended this build 147. To configure the Node MCU for the Monarchs, we first go to the config menu. So let's put in a decent naming. Let's call it uh, open term. Admin password you can change if you want to protect your node MCU. Um, protocol is already on the, the Modex HTTP, which is good. We want to connect to the, the Modex server, in this case on IP address. So you need to put in your IP address of your Demodex server including the port number. And the port number is the port number you use to connect to your uh, web page. Then we have the Demodex user. Uh, so you need to put in your username and we have the Demodex password where you put in the password of your Demodex user. In case you want to put in a manual IP address for the Node MCU, then you can use the optional settings. In my case, I'm not using it due to the fact that I'm using DHCP, which means I'm receiving an IP address automatically from my router. Press submit and go to the devices tab and click on edit. Here you can select a device called serial server and you want to give it a name, let's call it open term. TCP IP port needs to be different than your Demodex uh, server port. So let's pick a number, 6638, bout rate 9600, data bits you put on eight, parity you put on no parity, stop bits one, and reset target after boot, GPIO 14. 
press submit. Ensure after submitting that the serial server is visible in your devices list. Now we're ready to configure the Modex. Within the Modex, we're going to the menu setup and choose hardware. Choose in new hardware device list, um, open term gateway with LAN interface. Give it a name. IP address of the node MCU. Port number defined within the node MCU. And press add. Now within five minutes, you should have a list of devices within the devices list. And it should be 28 in total. Now, one of the devices is the return temperature value and default, it is not activated. However, you can activate it by putting in a command by going to uh, set up hardware, go to your open term gateway and press the setup uh, button. And now there's two options you can choose from and within the command field, you need to fill out the command AA is 28 and press send. This will send a signal to your uh, heating system, which automatically gives return values on your uh, return water temperature. Second thing is you can also choose an outside temperature sensor from the list of uh, temperature devices you have configured within the Modex. I'm using um, the dark sky uh, integration within the Monarchs, which is just a, a free online uh, API where you can select your own uh, coordinates to receive your temperature details within your neighborhood, um, which is then also visible on your uh, thermostat. So normally you would buy an external um, thermostat sensor, put it on your roof, which is then connected up to your uh, thermostat, which you normally need to buy, I don't know, between 100 and 150 euros probably. Um, but in this case, you can use the internet value, which is then automatically uploaded to your thermostat. Well, this is uh, basically how you can configure the OpenTerm uh, gateway. If anyone has any questions or would like to know more, then please put some comments uh, down below. And please subscribe to my channel. I will uh, put in some more videos. Thank you very much for watching.